Not all merry and bright and cordon after someone stole Santa's chair. WDRB's Raina Katko shares how the city is coming together to find it. The trees are decorated and the wreaths are hung up, but one crucial element is missing before Santa comes to town. I bet I got stopped 10 times with people asking, did you find the chair yet? Eva Bates North was getting cordon into the Christmas spirit when she noticed Santa's chair was missing. We've had that chair for about six years. It was meant to bring a little joy to the world at Light Up Cordon's parade this weekend. We've loved it and it's had a lot of fond memories here in Cordon. It really stinks that it's gone. Bates North immediately took to social media to spread the word and the community support is making her spirit bright. It reminds me of Whoville, this little community. I've never seen one item bring the community together so much. I mean, we had 300 chairs on Facebook of trying to locate this chair and people communicating back on for, back and forth on where they saw it last and where it's going. Gordon is also coming together to uncover who took it, even considering the Grinch as a suspect. The Grinch will be here. I don't think he stole Santa's chair. Returning the chair could determine whether the thief is on the naughty or nice list this year. If you do have it and you would like to bring it back, you can feel free to drop it off basically anywhere in downtown Corden um, because everybody knows what's going on. But even without the chair, Bates North hopes Corden has a holly jolly Christmas this year. Light Up Corden will have a parade, food trucks and fun events for the whole family this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. right here in the town square. Reporting in Corden with photojournalist Dave White, Raina Katko, WDRB News.